Hey guys. All right, I've got my Bedini motor set up here. I've got my milliamp meters from 0 to 150 milliamps. Over here I have an amp meter from 0 to 5 amps. And I've got another milliamp meter from another experiment. Now this one didn't make it well in shipping, so it's not zeroed. It can't be zeroed. I've attempted, and for one thing, it's it's got a crack in the case. It must have been jammed on the front in shipping. These weren't shipped in boxes, which is disappointing. They're just in a bubble uh, bubble envelope. So anyway, I'll get that replaced. But for now, I'm going to put it to uh, to use today. I've got the, the good one here that did arrive okay, hooked up to the output to directly to the output of the Bedini motor. This battery is just sitting here to hold the stiff, heavy wire in place to keep it from knocking over that meter. This amp meter here, 0 to 5 amps. This one's 0 to 150 milliamps. This one's 0 to 5 amps, so we're going to use that for the input side because it can reach up to 200 milliamps, which is out of the range of this one. So we use it here. It won't tell us a precise reading, but it will give us an idea what we're using. And uh, what I'm going to do here now is see if adding more batteries to the output of the Bedini motor takes away from the current going into the primary batteries. So I'm going to disconnect, while well, I'm thinking of it, this battery set from the charge. Okay, that's they're sitting at two and a half volts right now. Really pitiful, all right? But that is what it is, okay? So they're they're not connected now except for only the ground wire all right only the ground I've got the primary batteries down here connected I've got the power connected here I'm gonna spin the wheel up we're gonna look at how many amps are pulled out of here and how many milliamps are going into here now there isn't much current um, voltage travels faster than current so there's not gonna be much current going in because this is spikes of voltage um, I'm going to give this a spin. Forgive the shake that you're going to have from the camera. Okay. Now. Oh, look at that. We do have some current. Now that I have an actual meter here, we got 50, uh, 55 milliamps going into the batteries and rising. Here we've got 100 the first indicator is 200 milliamps, so we've got 180 milliamps. And my ground wire fell out of here. The current going into the batteries down below is increasing, really rising up. So it looks like at startup, we've got a, a 2 to 1 from our current. So there's not a full current transfer. It's not a one-to-one -one transformer, as some say, because I'm using 180. I'm only getting, oh, now it's starting to bounce. Look at it starting going up. I've never, ever, oops, it dropped. Isn't that weird? It dropped back down. It started going up, 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 and it hit 75 milliamps, and then it dropped back down. That was weird. Now it's coming up again. I wonder if adjusting the resistor here changes... Whoa, look at that. Yeah, I can change the current by turning the resistor a tiny, tiny hair. Now, uh, we've got 100 milliamps. That increased the current go being used. But as the wheel spins up, that'll come back down. i got to adjust the resistor. We've got almost... No, that's 200 milliamps, sorry. Yeah, 200 milliamps. It's 50% it's, uh, of the current is going to the batteries. We're not supposed to have current though. Alright, now I'm adjusting the uh, the grain of wheat bulb here. Should be at a very faint glow. Which shows me I've got it tuned as well as I can. We're about 55, 60, 65, 65 milliamps. Here we're still at 180. Okay. Now I'm going to let this stabilize for a minute. Let it run. Let everything get to speed. Let everything get to where it's going to be before I connect the second set of batteries over here, okay? So that we can see what's going on with this system. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to hook up my, uh, my extra meter here to these batteries to see if there's actually any current going in. So we'll be back in a couple minutes here. Alright guys, now, is that still glowing? The, uh, let me turn that resistance a tiny bit. 
I got the input down to 100 milliamps. So once the system establishes itself and gets up to run speed, the input current actually drops in half. So I'm looking at roughly 100 milliamps. The problem is it starts up nearly 200, so I can't use one of these little meters uh, with the finer range. But then it drops down to about 100. And that's where it would be nice if I could kick into a different meter at that point. But anyway, it's halfway between 0 and 200. So there's that. Now over here, forgive me, I got my tripod on here. Over here now, uh, we're at 50 milliamps going into the big batteries down below. Alright, so 50. Now I'm going to set you on the uh, stand here. And I don't know what you can see, but... If you can keep your eye on this meter, I'm going to tell you, but you'll have to trust me a bit. And then over here, these batteries, I'm going to plug that in, this voltmeter in. So we're at 2.54 volts. Now, I've got a meter here. Let me turn my, adjust my thing. I've got a meter here. Now this is reading between 5 and 10 milliamps. So it's about 7 milliamps. That's zeroed out at 7 milliamps. All right. Now. I'm going to hook up, uh, what do we got here? I got that in the wrong set of batteries. Well, we'll hook that one up first. We'll hook up this set of batteries since I'm ready with it. And then we'll hook up the other set here next, since I got the meter there. So, I'm going to hook the wire on here to a little milliamp meter. And we'll go on to the output and let's see what it does. Watch that meter and see if there's any current coming out of there. Oops, now that one jumped. I didn't do anything. Let me take the camera off the tripod. It's going to be easier for me. Hold on. Alright, this is an interesting device. The current here jumped up. So it's going to be awkward to test. I didn't do anything, but the current there jumped up. So, I'm going to hook this on here and see if that meter drops. It should be instantaneous. Did it move? No, there's no change. Is, are the batteries charging? Maybe I don't have anything going on. No. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong battery. Here, I've got the wrong uh, output. Okay, let me take that off. 10.99. Alright, definitely it's under charge. Now, is there any current going into these? There's no current going into these. Okay, none. There's nothing registering on that meter. I'm taking this off and clipping it on. There's nothing registering on that, but the charge, there's definitely, I just took it off, and I'll put it on. There's definitely charge. There's no current going in. Doesn't change the current coming out of the main battery bank, and it doesn't change the current from the, uh, the run battery, okay? So whatever I do on the back end, adding stuff on, there's no extra current, and there's no division of current. People were asking me, well, you must be reducing the current from here and dividing it to go into these batteries. Now, I've got a capacitor here. I'm going to hook up across, parallel across this battery. All right. Now... 55, 63, about 63 milliamps right here. I'm going to hook this this uh, capacitor up. Uh, let me see what happens. No current. Voltage jumps up tremendously, 12.7. And the current here did not change, and the current here did not change. All right? But the voltage jumps up tremendously with no current going in. All right, you can see it right there. There's no current going into those batteries. But there's definitely a charge on that. Seriously, definitely a charge. So, I'm not pulling any more current from the run battery. I'm not taking away current from the primary charge battery. But I'm charging a second set of batteries. Now I'm going to hook up yet another set of batteries. So, I'll be back. i got to shut off the camera and set it down and get the wires prepared. Okay guys, to prevent confusion, I put this meter on these batteries. I hope you can see that it's 12.53. It's settling down a little bit. 
I put this meter on these batteries which are not yet hooked up. These are 2.5 and I'm about to hook up the charging wire. Okay. Now watch that current which has now come down a little bit. It, it fluctuates from time to time. Watch that current. It shouldn't change. It actually went up. Alright. And now I'm under charge. 8 volts. And here I'm still under charge. All right, no extra current being used. Didn't take any current off this. Now I'm charging four extra batteries without any extra current, no reduction in current from the primary charge batteries. It's not dividing in the current to share it with the others, but yet I'm charging two different sets of batteries. Four more batteries. No current coming in to the other batteries being charged, but yet there is certainly a charge on there. Now, this is going to be awkward because I'm running out of wires and hands, but I've got another capacitor. Is this the photo capacitor? Yes. I'm going to attach that to here, and then we're going to check these meters again. So I'll be back in a minute. I've got to get jumper wires. All right, I've draped them up here so I can clip it on in front of you. This is all, I, I, you normally work a lot neater, but I'm trying to do this one-handed. Watch that voltage now when I clip this on, and watch this current. We're looking at 60 milliamps, okay? That voltage jumps up to 12.7 volts. We are not losing any current here. We're not using any more current here. Nothing's changed. But now these are both going up just by adding a capacitor. Somebody suggested it's smoothing out the pulses. Uh, somebody said the capacitor is a filter. All right, it sounded good at the moment when I read it said the capacitor is a filter and it's smoothing out the pulses of voltage, the high voltage spikes going to the battery. And that's what you're reading on the meter then, is the, uh, the filtered voltage. But isn't that essentially what the battery does? The battery is a massive, massive filter. So I don't think a 22 microfarad capacitor, uh, you know, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think a 22 microfarad capacitor is going to filter out the voltage spikes better than two seven amp hour batteries all right so i don't know why the voltage jumps on here by adding a capacitor i should be reading a pretty stable voltage on those batteries with the meter because the batteries are absorbing the pulses you're not reading the pulses of energy you're reading the battery voltage these can't react to those spikes in the first place and I just don't think that capacitor can, can possibly make that much difference on the voltage going in. Because um, it's parallel with the battery. It's right across the battery. So I don't think that's it. I think you're seeing extra energy uh, going into the system here. But, and I'm going to say it again, no extra current being used. Definitely is not stealing current from those batteries being charged down here. But I am seriously seeing a charge on these batteries. Then you see a huge jump in voltage when you add the capacitor. So something's going on. No current going into those batteries. It's just, well, I don't know what it is. It's voltage, no current. But it is definitely receiving a charge. Now, John Bedini explained it in a way, and I'll attempt from memory to explain what he said. Anything, the batteries are a chemical device, all right? Anything that causes the chemistry in the battery to change in such a way to make the battery charge is, is what you want to do. You want to change it chemically. So we aren't necessarily seeing voltage going into here. What we're seeing, though, in the battery is a chemical change in the battery to cause it to show a higher voltage on the meter, okay? It's not necessarily volts or amps or current or energy going into these, but there is certainly a chemical change happening inside the battery causing them to charge. So that's how John explained it, and uh, it does make sense when you understand battery chemistry. They are a chemical device. Um, electricity makes the change, but so does the energy the form of energy that's doing this all right guys i'm gonna let this run a while and uh there you have it with meters i think it's pretty interesting 
Probably from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Another experiment on the Bedini motor. Hopefully one day I'll have all these meters uh, mounted with banana jacks and we'll have a nice neat lab here. But for now, there it is.